Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will take a look at the ESP32 I2S microphone. So, we will driver one I2S microphone. Ah, use the ESP32. So the microphone module, we will use this module. Okay, this is the uh, uh, front side of the module. This is the back of the module. This is the module's name. Uh, it is a very popular module. Uh, it is a very popular I2S microphone module. Okay, so for this microphone, the data sheet is here. The data sheet is here. We have three uh, very important information we need to understand from the data sheet. The first is the pin, okay? Uh, is the pin. The pin definition is here. So it is uh, is here, okay? The first pin is the clock. Is the clock. Okay, this is the date out. Uh, the second pin is date out. The third pin is the date were select. Okay, and this is left and right channel select. This is ground. This is VDD, and this is the chip enable. The chip enable we need to set high to enable the chip. Okay. So let's take a look at the uh, ESP32, how to connect the chip. For the ESP32 uh, I2S interface, we have the picture like this. In previous videos, we have to do the must communicate with the slave uh, through the I2S, uh, I2S communication. So, uh, for our I2S microphone, uh, for our I2S microphone, the first pin, uh, it will we will use this module, and for this module, the first pin is the clock, the clock. This clock will connect our ESP32 B clock. Uh, the ESP32 will generate the clock through this pin to the microphone, this pin. The second, uh, still, it has the WS word select pin. And uh, for the microphone, uh, for the microphone, it, it doesn't have this pin, okay? So we don't have this pin connection. But the uh, microphone, it will have the SD date out pin. The SD date out pin will connect our ESP32 data in pin, okay? The data, uh, the microphone data, will go through this pin into our ESP32. Except this, and we also have the uh, VDD. The VDD connect the power supply of the ball. And the chip enable, uh, the chip enable pin also need to connect the uh, power supply and uh, connect the VDD to enable this chip, to enable this microphone, okay? And the next, uh, we have the left and right channel and we have ground. So, uh, from the uh, data sheet, we can check the left and the right channel. If we set it as low, uh, it will be left channel. Okay, set it as high, it will be right channel. So here we set it as low. So we make this microphone as the. Uh, left channel okay so uh this is uh, uh this is the connection this is a connection between the esp32 and this microphone 
module. In our case, we will use uh, the uh, ESP32 S3 uh, replace the ESP32 C3. Why? Because uh, take a look our uh, IDF programming guide. We will see here uh, in previous video we also discuss about this table. Okay, the ESP32 S3 it has the standard I2S, also has the PDM I2S and PDM I2S receive data and transfer data. So. Uh, we use this connect one standard standard i2s microphone and also in the future uh, for the future video we will use the i2s connect one pdm pdm microphone if we still use the c3 uh, we use the c3 we can connect one i2s stand microphone but we cannot receive data from one PDM microphone okay because the C3 don't have the receive PDM receive data function here okay so for the microphone example we use the uh, ESP32 S3 to connect one I2S microphone and in the future we will connect one PDM microphone okay so this is the first the first important information for the I2S uh, microphone is for the pin connection okay the second second important information is here Okay, the second important information is this one. Date word length. Okay, the output date word length is uh, 24 bits per channel. Okay, it's 24 bits per channel. And uh, this microphone must always have uh, 64 clock cycle for every stereo data out date word okay okay so this is the second uh, important information uh, date word length the data word length also for the date word format the default date form data format is i2s to complement format okay msb first okay this is the second Im important information the last important information is the timing okay take a look at this position of the uh, timing so you can see from the timing it delay one clock here it delay one clock here it means uh, for our this i2s microphone it use the uh, standard let's take a look at the uh, guideline it use this standard Philips timing diagram it use this timing okay it use this timing and delay one clock here it delay one clock here uh, it is one bit shift okay it is one bit shift it means when we setting our i2s we need to set the esp32 i2s as philips format uh, standard more philips format okay okay so this is the three important information for our i2s microphone okay so uh, this is a, a connection and uh, this is a pin connection and uh, uh, 
here this is uh, timing and uh, here this is uh, date word length and the date word format okay okay so this is this video uh, i'm michael and uh, see you next time